All right, we're gonna get some Galaga now. Here it is part of the Galaxian family. Uh, there's a Galaxian, Galaga, there's a third one I forget the name of, and Galaga 88, which I also enjoy playing. Concept of this one is simple, basically. You're a fighter at the bottom, trying to destroy aliens that come into the formation. You can double up your ships and get two of them, which is helpful for the bonus stages. Basically, uh, don't get hit or shot. I remember when this game came out, I was watching a bug, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I watched a player playing one stage where the enemies uh, would keep looping around the screen. There's two or three of them left. And he would just basically let them loop and shoot. And eventually they stopped shooting. And from that point forward... Um, oh, yes. That's the one right here, right there. Uh, from that point forward, basically, the enemies weren't shooting at him. Interesting bug. I've never been able to replicate it. I haven't tried. So now my ship is captured. I have to free it. Uh, do not shoot your ship. You can do that. Do not shoot the guy when he's up there in formation because then your ship becomes part of the enemy formation. So that's why I'm kind of be careful not to try to... Trying to be careful to... Um, oops, those bees loop around to our, our pain in the butt. Or go at it. Like double firepower, which is nice. Here we go. All right. Double fire makes the game a lot easier, but basically now it costs you one of your man in reserve. So if you're your last man, do not go for a ball firepower because then the game's over. Also makes you a bigger target too for the enemies coming at you. Watch those bees; they will loop around, get you from, get you from underneath. If you're not careful. You cannot get more than two men, so don't try it. Okay, now we got a chance for uh, bonus stage here. Let's try this. Okay, that worked out pretty good. And I missed two. No, no perfect score for me. Still not a bad score. I think I missed two on that one. And I got a free man, which is nice in case I lose one. Alright, here we go. Stage four here. Enemies come a little faster. Uh, I think at this stage they'll start peeling off of the main bodies that come down, so you'll have enemies dive-bombing you as well. There's one there that came after you. There's another one. Also, too, I think at this point here the bees will turn into like a... kind of like a three enemies at once. If you get them all in the first pass, it's worth like a thousand points. There we go. Not bad at all. Oh, and I ran to that guy, of course. Good old me. Okay, so I'm taking a lot of chances staying in the middle here. I'm trying to stay out of the corners, too, because uh, getting trapped in the corners is something that I don't want to do. Especially with those bees looping around or guys uh, taking shots at you or like that because they're looping around. Now, I could have an opportunity to have a second man here. Because uh, I do have one in reserve. Worry about clearing these bees out because they're more of the pain in the butt than these these guys here left. All right, I'm just trying to stay alive here. Um, an extra man for the next bonus stage would be nice. But I'll just try to focus on just basically trying to pass this level with what I have. Might be a little dicey here now. Darn it! Yeah. Helpful hit. If you're going to get uh, drawn up by one of those uh, larger ships, don't shoot. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we go. Challenge stage one man is... Nigh impossible, so have fun with it. <laughs> yeah. Not bad, not bad. 
There we go. There we go. We'll take that. We'll take that. Well, that happens. I'm a level wave eight. A level eight part of me. All right. Hey, look at that. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Ooh, there we go. Take that. We'll take that quite nicely. Level 91, man. We'll see how far we get here. This could do us in. Like I said, you gotta watch those enemies peeling off at you. Stay in the middle as best you can, but don't get hit with the bullets or the enemies peeling off. This is very critical in higher levels, too, because uh, more enemies peel off and they, um, they're more accurate and they're uh, targeting you when they swoop down. Do not get caught in the corners if you can help it. <laughs> yeah, do that all day long. Ooh, I could get another bonus stage here from the timer, right? There's one. Oh, the bee died, did a little loopy loop again on me. Third bonus stage. Oh, no, wait. I guess I gotta wait. Gotta wait for another stage of this. Well, I noticed myself making it past this one. Strange enough, they're not coming after me. I thought they'd be, uh... Uh, that's a little interesting. I wonder what their uh, game is this time around. Because that was actually a kind of a fairly easy uh, level. When it comes down to it. Almost like, basically, uh, we feel sorry for you. Here you go, challenging stage. Changing up the enemy shape to make it more interesting, I guess. Oh. Yeah, I don't know this pattern, so. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Not bad. Not bad. I think it's one of my best scores yet, actually, in this game. I thought I'd be uh, a lot more wrap up difficulty here, but I felt level 7 was pretty, that was the worst I faced so far. I've had played that level 21. There we go. I played level 21 on here, one of the challenges on Ant Stream here, and that was pretty, uh, uh, just a fight to survive. Nope, not gonna fall. Look at me in there. Oh, here we go. That's where it gets more interesting. Not a bad score. Not a bad game. Again, a lot of fun. Galaga, part of the Glaskin family.